All right, so today's project is going to be a toilet project. It's something that nobody really wants to deal with, but it's okay. I am dealing with it and I have a problem with the toilet. And let me kind of zoom out and show to you my toilet. It's right there. Yep, that's the guy. This guy is not doing his own little job. And it's not really bringing the water come down to help flush all the way around to go down. So. This, I have a hack for you. Rather than replacing the whole thing, I have a hack for you. It's easy to repair, and it would take probably less than then. This hack is for you. Ah, don't look at me. Ah, close, close the lid, close the lid. Ah, thank you. <clears throat> Come on, I'm trying to show to other people about you, okay? Please, can I open the lid? Okay. This tissue represent kakamaka, okay? And a kakamaka is gonna drop one right here. One kakamaka, two kakamaka, and three kakamaka. Okay, they're in there, and let me demonstrate to you. And it just sits there. It does not want to go down. I don't know why. So all that kakamaka still hanging around here. So this is the project we're gonna work on, and I have a hack for you for color toilet owners. This color thing, the system they have, is not working and it's not doing its own job like it's supposed to to flush everything kakamaka out of there. So because this thing is not working right, that I have to deal with all that kakamaka. For the hack is, is that the, you do not have to replace the whole thing. Yep. I promise you that you do not have to replace anything. It'd be very, very easy and simple, and I will show you how. Please bear with me while I'm trying to hold the, my uh, camera. I'll do my best to try to keep it in focus so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, so first thing you want to do is undo this part right here. And by doing so, oh, I forgot the one thing, guys. I need to shut off the water valve. And the second thing you want to do is drain this water down. Yeah, see, it's not doing its own job. So let me go ahead and lift this thing up so it completely drains the water down. Nice. All right. Okay, now the water is completely down. And let me go ahead and undo this part. So this is the water supply line. And you're going to just go ahead and disconnect this thing. Just we go back and forth a little bit. And it's come right off. Doing this hack, there's no tools required. Isn't that Cool and awesome, just your hand. Okay, let me go ahead and undo this. For this, you want to uh, just hold on to the this yellow tab thing right here, and you want to turn it to the this direction, just a little bit. Okay, until you hear a little click noise, and then the whole thing can be able to come off right off. Look at that, and okay, there she is that little troublemaker right there. And I will show you the hack of what we can do without the using tool, but you do need one thing, and I will show it to you in just a second. Ah, this is my hack right here. Using this, I'll show you how to do it. All right, guys, what I have, have done is I have placed uh, this hammer right here, placed right next to this valve here so it doesn't fall into the toilet so that it's in a good position, right? And so, uh, on this one, you just want to make sure, before you do anything else, to make sure that this yellow ring right here, it is a nice, good, sealed looking, and doesn't show any wear and tear, things like that. So if you do, you want to replace this before you do my... All right, so what I have done is, there was a whole bunch of water right here, and there's a toilet paper right there, and I just used that to kind of dab it out, and so I made it all nice and dry. Now here comes the hat part. All right, guys, are you guys ready for the hat part? This is my hat part. And so this is the moment you guys have been waiting for. And so basically, I'm using just silicone right here. I'm gonna, using the caulking gun, get some stuff out of my finger, in onto my finger, and then I'm just going to plug it up larger, hole here and there, there and there, there. To slow by doing placing the silicone right here it's a water base and uh, I mean it's waterproof right here so, so you will not even hurt it if it gets wet or not and then at the moment I apply it the moment you can start using it. and so by putting a silicone there 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 it allows the, this plunger or this chamber right here to go down slower so it allows more water to gush inside it's there to be able to flush it completely is the hack on something that I have discovered. 
All right, so let's go ahead and do this right now. And I'm just gonna go ahead and, and nice little chunk. And you, I'm, I'm, and I am going to smother in the hole. Okay, I didn't get enough. So I'm gonna repeat this four holes. One, two, three, four, maybe five. It all depends. All right, guys, so what I have done is uh, I plugged up the one hole, two holes, three, and four, and uh, I decided to do it just one more for five. But uh, depending on you guys' toilet and how it is, you know, maybe five might be stretching it too much, and so uh, so you might just have to adjust. And uh, But uh, once you uh, put it in there, and if it flushes too much, then you can, you know, maybe you can take it out. But... Uh, but for me, for my toilet, I am doing five holes. Um, so, all right, so let's go ahead and then put it together. But it does look good. So hopefully this thing will do the job. All right. And let's go ahead and put this thing back into this, to the tank. And by placing it, this uh, canister, right to the, where the, the circle meets together. And then I'm gonna try to find this little hole and turn it this way. Done. And I'm just going to put that thing close right back in. Okay, let me go ahead and turn on the water. All right, so the water has been completely filled up. Let me go ahead and uh, open the lid. Oh, she's not getting too embarrassed. All right, guys. And let me go ahead. Oh, I got to get the um, three of kakamakas. Kakama kakamakas? And down here to demonstrate and see how well it will go down. Okay, here I go. Let me go ahead and flush it. I cannot believe it! Ha ha ha! Woohoo! There you have it, guys. What do you guys think? Wasn't that amazing? That that toilet is on. And just loop that sucker out of the drain. That is so awesome. I cannot believe it, it worked. Well, guys, I did it. So that means if you guys have a, your toilet problem not going down, maybe can, you can do the similar situations I did by using the, the waterproof caulking things to, to plug it up is my hack. And so hopefully this will work for you. Thanks for tuning into my channel. And please subscribe and uh, do the little uh, ding ding, little mark thing and all that. But guys, thank you so much for watching. and love you guys. And Ding Pong really, really do love you. You're awesome. Bye. Ciao.